Hi, this is Pam from the Birch Cottage blog. Welcome to my YouTube video on how to sew a napkin with mitered corners the easy way. First, let's take a look at the supplies that you'll need. You'll first want one and a quarter yards of linen or cotton fabric. Now that's enough fabric to make about four napkins with some material left over. You also want matching thread, some scissors, or my preferred method, a rotary cutter, cutting mat, and a ruler. You'll also need an ironing board, an iron, of course, and a sewing ruler. So the first thing you're going to want to do is to pre-wash and iron your fabric. This will allow for pre-shrinking of the fabric and give you a nice, smooth material to work with. Next, you're ready to cut your fabric. You will cut your fabric into 20 inch by 20 inch sections. Using one and a quarter yards of fabric, you should be able to cut out four napkins. Now be sure to cut away the selvage edges as you won't want to use those in your napkins. So now we're ready to press the hems on our napkins. Lay your napkin face down, and that's wrong side up, on your ironing board. And then either using a ruler or your measuring sheet, your little cheat sheet that I like to call it, you will press a hem around all four sides of your napkin using one half inch hem. So you'll start with the less stretchy side of the fabric and work your way clockwise. Now it's really important that you start with the side that's least stretchy and that you work clockwise. So using your ruler or your paper measuring guide, you will fold over one half an inch on, along the edge of the napkin and press in place. Rotate the napkin clockwise and again, fold down one half inch and press in place. Do that for each of the four edges of your napkin and be sure to rotate clockwise. Once you have pressed a half an inch on all four edges of your napkin, you're going to fold that over again a half an inch and press it in place. Again, start with the least stretchy side and work your way clockwise around the napkin. continue folding that half inch hem over and pressing it in place until you have pressed a double hem around all four sides of your napkin. So now you're ready to start sewing your napkins. You're going to start sewing middle ways down the less stretchy side of the napkin. So put your napkin on your sewing machine, lower your presser foot, and if you have an edger foot, this is a good place to use it. You're gonna to wanna to stitch close to the edge, but stop before you get to that first corner. You wanna stop a good two or three inches away so you have room to unfold and refold that corner. When you get to the corner, you're gonna unfold the edge that you're sewing, not the hem that's closest to you, but the edge that you are sewing. And you're gonna fold that fabric in the corner at a 45 degrees so that the side raw edge rests on the inside fold line. Now, this is the line that will become the napkin edge. 
and then you refold the hem along the two half inch press lines. This will make more sense when you see what I do. So unfold the double fold along the edge that you're sewing. And keeping the bottom still double folded, you're gonna fold the corner up at a 45 degree angle so it rests on that second fold. And then you'll fold again along that first fold. And then you'll fold it over so that you have a second fold. And this is where the magic happens and where you'll have those perfect mitered corners. And then continue sewing down to the corner. Again, you fold up at a 45 degree angle, fold again along the fold line, and fold over your second fold, and you should have a nice mitered corner there. You're gonna stitch along that edge and stitch one stitch past the corner. Raise your presser foot, turn your fabric, or if you did what I did, you went a stitch too far, back up a stitch, <clears throat> rotate your fabric, and again, continue sewing along the hemline until you reach the next corner. Again, you're gonna to wanna to stop two or three inches away from that corner so you have room to turn your fabric. So just to reiterate, you're gonna continue sewing around all, around all four sides of your napkin. When you get to where you began your stitching, you're gonna to wanna to sew past that a few stitches and then backstitch to reinforce and then trim your threads. So again, when you get to the next corner, you're gonna to wanna to open up the side that you're sewing along, keeping the hem closest to you folded or double folded, and then fold that corner up at a 45 degree angle so it's right along that second fold line. And then actually fold the hem along the first line and then fold it over for that double hem. And continue to stitch along the edge until you come to the corner. And when you get to the corner, you're going to want to stitch one stitch past and then turn your, lift your presser foot, of course, and turn your fabric. And then you sew down the next side and you just continue that until you have sewn all four sides of your napkin. When you get to the last side, you're gonna to wanna to stitch just past your beginning stitch and then do a few little back stitch stitches to reinforce your stitching. Trim your threads and then your napkin is all complete. And you have a napkin with perfectly mitered corners. Thank you for watching this YouTube video. I hope this sewing tutorial was helpful to you. If you enjoyed this YouTube video, please be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and like this video below. You'll also want to subscribe to Ideas for the Home by Canary's YouTube channel.